Okay, so you find yourself wanting to use a, something over your ears to play games and talk to people because that's what people do these days, right? But you don't want to go out and be one of the plebs or the plebs or however you want to pronounce it. You want to, you, you don't want to go buy that gaming headset that's all in one everything that you could want but the quality is maybe not as good or maybe it's fine or uh, who knows. Headphones are better, right? Right. So you want to get a great setup with, uh, headphones with something to plug it into a, to whatever you're playing, whether it be PC, console, all that kind of stuff. You want that solution, but you don't know how to go about it. You don't know what to buy. Well, that's what I'm here for, and that's what we're going to talk about today. A bunch of different options for headphones as a gaming headset, ranging from $50 and above to about $100, from $100 to around 200 or so dollars, maybe 250 depending, and then up to 300 and beyond. Okay, so all of these things, you're going to see a lot of the same pieces of equipment, but different permutations for different price ranges and different applications. So let's start talking about what we got here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the cheaper option. We're looking here at the Superlux HD668B semi-open headphones for $40. I got them for like $39. I have an entire video on the setup with these that I use, which includes the ModMic 5.0 and the little, you know, so so this is what I use. And this is fantastic. $40 set of headphones. They sound great. They, uh, they are comfortable if you make a couple of changes. One is you gotta buy the Superlux plus the pads, or you could also go for something like this mono price that's closed backed. Uh, while it's only $25, there's lots of people who really love these headphones, so this is an option for you. And then you need a microphone. The cheapest microphone you can get that's any good is this Zalman ZM Mic 1. See, here is an all-in-one add to cart for $56 you get the Zalman mic, you get the H8, the, the 668B and the cups. Now the one thing that you need that isn't listed here if you want to play on console and need an all-in-one option you need this guy. So this is a Y cable that goes mic, headphone, that plugs into your console uh, controller, whether it's Xbox One, PS4. The one thing to know about the 668B in this permutation uh, is that the 668B needs a little bit more power to drive it. So while you can plug everything in just like I showed you on this on this option and get it for you know between 50 and 60 bucks, you need maybe some amplification to really push these a little bit further. One thing that I might recommend is getting one of these Fio portable headphone amps. This thing is $28. You got mic input or you've got headphone input here but what you're gonna have to do if you're gonna use this is you're gonna have to put the headphone in here and then have a cable coming out and the microphone coming around and then going in to your DualShock 4. So you're going to need one extra cable for this most likely. This will give you additional volume, it's got a battery in it, and as long as you get a cable that allows you to set this down beside you on the couch or something like that, here's another option for a microphone that's $20 and it has a little bit more flexibility. So let's move on now to the $100 and above options. What we have here is the Audio-Technica ATH-AD 700X. It's a newer version. I've tried. I've used these headphones before in the exact permutation that I'm going to show you. I've used these headphones before. They are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you several headphone options here. Uh, the AD700X is probably my choice. If I were to put together a, a headset in this price range, these would be the headset or the headphones that I would I would use. But you've also got, if you want to go a little bit more, get closer to $200. You've got uh, the, AT, the ATH AD900X, which are a level above, obviously. And you, here you can go, you've got a mic option, so here you are at $200 with all of this. So if you want to move up to a higher price range, 
the 900s are absolute gold. The 700s are going to sound really, really fantastic with this setup, but the 900s will take you one step above. But if you, these have a nice open and airy sound, and they really give you a lot of, a lot of positional awareness. Uh, even in just straight stereo. Now, if you do want a little bit more bass oomph, if you want a bit fuller sound and not quite as wide, you can go with the Sennheiser 598s. Uh, this is the HD model in the open back. So you see here, this grill is where the sound is coming out. And you'll get some of that wide perception, but the 500 series for Sennheiser is always a little bit a little bit more bass heavy and low mid heavy and it's not something that I'm particularly a fan of but you might like that and so I show you these as an option and here are the closed version if you're if you're going this direction open backed is always great but if you're in an environment where either you don't want to hear external noise or other people who might be around you don't want to hear noise coming out of your headphones a closed back option is really a good way to go. Now with this, you know, 100 to 200 ish dollar option, I would suggest going with the Antlion Mod Mic. Um, just because it has so many options. You get in the box, a, a box, <laughs> and uh, some ca it's, uh, the microphone itself, a longer cable, a shorter cable, and this is, a, this is where you, you take this, you stick it in here, and then this sticks in there, and that is your mic uh, which again you should somehow wrap together with whatever headphone that you're using and it, it is the most versatile standalone mic that you can get for gaming period. You can also get a USB plug that will work on consoles, on PC, on Mac. Uh, I've used it with PS4, I've used it with PC. If you want to get one of these guys then that is totally and, and six and a half dollars. This is another option for connection. Uh, if you want it, if you if you don't want to go analog, if you don't want to stick it into your DS, your DualShock 4, or your Xbox One controller, this is an option. Now, if you want to really step up to the next level, and this can be like two hundred dollars or a little bit more than two hundred dollars, depending on what headset you choose. We've got the Astro Mix Amp. Now, I have not been a huge fan of the Astro. A40 headset and the mix amps have been problematic themselves from time to time but I, I've been told that Astro has worked out the most recent mix amp to where the mic quality is good the sound was always good you've got some surround sound options on this you see you've got your your doubly and then four different options and a chat game mix this is the old standby the nice thing about this is how much versatility there is in this particular setup the idea that you can plug this into the PS4 or you can plug it into your PC. You can also get an Xbox version that you can plug into both the Xbox and the PC. The Astro Mix app amp will give you a lot of options. You see here on the front you plug your headphones in here. In this you can plug in your phone or whatever audio source you might want to listen to. Uh, if you're playing on console and you want to listen to some stuff off of your PC, you can plug this in off of your phone. You can plug this in and then you can mix in your own music with the audio from the games and, and it's all good. These are, if you're in a, in, a, in a room playing with a bunch of other people and you don't want lag, it's in a, say a tournament setting, you can daisy chain these together. But I, I have never used it in that, in that situation. So here you've got your optical in, that's where your sound goes in and out, and then your USB. And here's a stream port. This is an audio, it says stream, but it really is just an audio output. Everything that's coming into the mix amp comes back out through this stream port. And the thing that's nice about that is if you're streaming or recording your gameplay onto a PC, you can get everything that you want right there. And so it's, it's a great option. It's very versatile. I mean, when you think about a mix amp or anything that does the same thing as this, and Turtle Beach has an option that's a little bit more expensive, but also a little bit more versatile, you can look at it as a sound mixer that you can use for your, your Xbox, PS4, or PC. And, and that really is a valuable thing. So if you want to jump up in price, this is an option. And I will have everything down in the comments below that will tell you how to get all of this stuff. Now let's move on 
to the big daddy of them all. Now, here I'm going to give you an option that goes from, you know, probably up $300 ish, $275 ish, all the way up to uh, the sky's the limit here. Really, you can you can do a lot of different things with this, but I'm going to try and keep it simple with a few options that are similar to what I've just showed you, and you can make your choice. Okay, so here we have the Sennheiser Game One for PC. And it says it's for PC. You could find there are ways that you could use it with PS4 or Xbox as well, uh, but it is designed for PC. It has a split end at the bottom that allows for you to plug it into a PC, but you can get that Y cable that I showed you earlier and you can then plug that into a mix amp or this guy that I showed you before, or you can plug it into something like, well this might be PC only, but you can, you can get the splitter you can get this, these, you can get these cheaper, this is just a Sennheiser branded one that's $15 and plug into whatever you want, but the thing that I like about the Sennheiser game series, there's the Game 1 and the Game 0 the Game 1 is open back and the Game 0 is closed back, so you can make the choice as I said before, so here's the Game 1 the microphone is for my money probably the best on the market uh, for connected microphones and uh, it really is a fantastic headphone. Now, the ohms rating for this is a little high, so again, you're going to probably need an amplifier of some kind. If you have a PC, you can do the Astro, or you can get something like uh, a sound, one of these sound cards. Sennheiser makes their own sound card, the GSX-1000 Gaming Audio Amplifier. It has all of your, all of your Dolby, all of your everything else, and this will work great for the Game 1 or Game 0. Here's the Game 0. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, interestingly enough. Open or close back, it's a choice that you need to make. And again, here's that splitter that I said if you want to go into a single jack, you need that splitter to go into a combo jack like you would have on your iPhone or you would have on the console options. You know, once you start getting up in price, you start also getting up in in, uh, in difficulty. <laughs> you know, I, I would always go with something like the A40 uh, mix amp because it's made for this purpose, it's versatile for this purpose, and it can really do what you need it to do. So this is the, you know, $300 plus range. Now, there are so many different permutations of how you can do this. Um, that I can't cover them all in one video. In fact, this video has already gone super long. The reason that you want to go with something like this is because you can make choices and you can get better sound. That doesn't necessarily mean that gaming headsets are bad. Gaming headsets are purpose-built, they are convenient and easy, whereas this takes a little bit more legwork and a little bit more know-how to get it right. However, it's arguable that the benefits of this kind of setup are bear themselves out in better sound. So tell me what you think. What kind of setup do you use? Gaming headset or a headphone and combination of things to listen to your stuff? Uh, I've done it both ways. I see the, the pros and cons of both. So let me know. Thanks for being here. Until the next time, this is the JTL and I'm out.